Hi, today we shall be developing the vector error correction model in our studio. So, vector error correction model is uh, usually run when failing to uh, run vector auto regressive var model uh, due to the fact that variables are probably not stationary. Uh, as we know, uh, in var model, variables are required to be stationary, all stationary. But uh, you can run vector error correction model when uh, variables are um, stationary in first difference, and we need to have uh, also a co-integration or a long-run relationship between variables to run the vector error correction model. And it's the first time you are watching one of my videos, do subscribe to the YouTube channel in order not to lose my video and do let a like or put a thumbs up to give you pleasure to know that all the people we are making are uh, to make him to help him push your skills in the classical model for social sciences are not uh, lost so coming back into our uh, vector error correction model to run vector error correction model you uh, need to have uh, two Packages, two principal packages. You need to have D series installed in your R Studio for uh, unit group testing, and we have made a tutorial video on unit test in uh, R Studio. You can look at it. You also uh, require a VARS package in order to uh, be able to perform VAR as well as vector error correction model and co integration in R Studio. So when uh, all those two packages are installed in your R Studio, you can uh, perform uh, unit group tests. And when your variables are stationary in the first difference, uh, the first step is to uh, test for the co-integration uh, using the command co equals uh, co dot dg uh, in and the parameter of the function cr dot cg. G, C, H, dot G, O, uh, beta. Beta here is a, a, a matrix uh, containing the co concatenation of the vector uh, that are going to be used in your, uh, in your DCM model. And uh, my, my vector beta, my uh, beta set beta is uh, the uh, concatenation of three vector beta 0, beta 1, and beta 2. So to run the co-integration model, you just need to run this, uh, where beta is the data set, k is here a number of lag uh, that should include the, the uh, standard bar. So in your vector error operation model, you should have k minus one uh, lags due to the loss of degree of one degree of freedom in the vector error correction model we have uh, the type of the co-integration test which is trace we have trace test we also have ec that we represent uh, the uh, argument of trend so you could also put a constant in our model so we click on run the uh, co-integration test has been uh, run and we can just summarize uh, our co-integration test by uh, using the command summary c for uh, co-integration you can see the result of our uh, co-integration test and the most important table that we use to interpret our co-integration test is here uh, is what I just highlighted here and we have uh, for the uh, one co integration uh, equation, the test statistic is uh, 23.88, which is uh, less than uh, the critical value at 10 and 5%. Uh, notice that uh, the uh, critical value, the uh, null hypothesis here is the non co integration, not co integration among uh, our three variables. So, uh, as the null hypothesis is the uh, non-co-integration among 
our three variable um, the test that we see the uh, more than the uh, critical value uh, ten and five percent we can just uh, reject the null hypothesis at five and ten percent meaning that we can support that at ten and five percent level uh, there exists at least one co-integration equation or one known relationship between uh, among our three variables so we can also uh, have an interpretation for the uh, two uh, uh, co integration equation. The tests show that uh, the critical value is uh, more than the, crit the, uh, the test statistic is more than the critical value at 10%. So at 10%, we can consider that there is a co integration previously. And but I part 5 and 1%, we cannot uh, assume that uh, our variable. Which is uh, most used in uh, social sciences. So, at 5% level, we can consider that uh, there exists at least one co integration equation among our variables. So, in our bar model, we will uh, estimate a uh, co integration equation, a vector interpolation in one co integration equation in the model. So, let us move to the BECM model. So here we just use the command BECM. Uh, we affect to the BECM the, uh, the relations, uh, the function that is used to uh, the BECM is uh, cajoles, uh, which have the first parameter the uh, integration and the second parameter is number of uh, co-integrating equations. So we have one co-integrating equation to put in our scale. Let us select and just uh, run this. We can see that our BECM has been successfully run. We can even summarize our BECM uh, model. We see the number the length, the class, the mode. And we can also call our BECM model just type in here and then click on OK. We can see the result of our BCM model. So we have, first of all, the uh, short run relationship among our variable. We have uh, error correction term, which is negative for the first relationship uh, between uh, beta 0 and uh, lab order, uh, lab 1, beta 0, beta 1, and beta 2. And we can see that. Uh, short run we have the positive relationship between uh, beta 0 lap 1 beta 0 lap 2 and beta 0 1 lap 2 and beta 2 lap uh, 1 uh, and here we have the long run relationship showing uh, the co-integration equation that is the, that that show that uh, beta 0 lap 2 is uh, Lab two because we chose to have uh, to estimate a lab two uh, BECM. So uh, lab two uh, beta zero is uh, plus minus three point uh, point one. Lab two of uh, beta one min uh, plus two point uh, seventy nine uh, beta two. Lab two, lab two uh, minus zero point thirty one to be equal to zero. So the sign here is interpreted negatively. Uh, the negative, the standard, uh, the uh, impact of the variable here will be the opposite uh, sign that we have here because in the identification equation we uh, we can uh, send this to the second member of the so that uh, beta uh, 1 will uh, at long run have a positive uh, impact on the beta 1. Beta 2 will have a negative impact, not positive as we can see here in the uh, beta 0 constant.
So that's it for this uh, video on the digital hero portion. I hope you have been very helpful and able enough to uh, run for yourself your digital hero collection for us as well as this presentation. And if you are not yet, if you have not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, do subscribe and activate the notification bell not in order not to lose the next.